Hello all, welcome to every one of you in this excellence batch. Now today we have reached to our last session where I'm going to discuss some PYQ means previous year questions which I came in J. Okay, already we have done all the theory part, whatever was there in lines, planes, line and plane mix. Still, we will see the questions that how questions are coming and using those theory parts how you have to solve. So question can be lengthy, but it not it will not be tricky or it will not be difficult. I assure you that because it's a simple chapter. If you follow our certain 10 to 15 questions or 20 questions of from that chapter which we have done, every kind of question you can solve which have come in J exam. Today we are going to see all those things only. Okay, so let's get started. Now in this question, let P be a plane LX plus MY plus NZ equals to zero containing the line. That means this plane is containing this line. So if there is a plane, line is on the plane, line is on the plane. If you see the standard form, taking minus common, so x minus 1 by minus 1, y plus 4 by 2, and z plus 2 by 3. So 1 comma minus 4 minus 2, the point on the line will lie on the plane also, right? So this point will satisfy this equation that will become L minus 4M minus 2N equals to 0, equation 1. Also, normal to the plane will be normal to the line also. So that means the direction ratio of line product with this, that is minus L plus 2M plus 3N will equals to 0. Right, sir? Now what? Just find the values, like if you take L minus 4, into minus 3 is minus 12, uh, minus 2 to the uh, 4, so plus 4. Then m, it will be like hide uh, this, so minus 2 into minus l will be 2 minus 3, and then n will be 2 minus 4. So l by minus 8, m by minus 1, and n by minus 2. I can take multiply minus. So I got element. So the plane equation will become 8x plus y plus 2z equals to 0 plus 2z equals to 0. This is the plane equation. Understood? This is your plane equation. So first part they have given how to find means you have to find the equation of plane. After that the line segment joining A and B in the ratio K is to 1 falls on this. So you need to find the ratio now. Second part. So my plane equation was 8x plus y plus 2z equals to 0. Now let the point in the ratio K is to 1. So the point will be 2k minus 3 by k plus 1. Then 4k minus 6 by k plus 1 and then minus 3k plus 1 by k plus 1 like this. Now this point will satisfy this equation and the denominator is same. So directly 8 2s are 16k minus 8 3s are 24 plus 4k minus 6 minus 2 3s are 6k plus 2 equals to 0 sir. Now solve it. 16, 10, 10 plus 4, 14 K and this is 30, 30 minus uh, 30 plus 2 is 28, so 28. So K will become 2, like this. So two parts were there. First part was how to find the equation of plane. For that you need to see what all condition you can apply. Okay, after that you need to find the passing point in this way. So as simple as that means nothing will be there which you will be not knowing everything will be means coming from your what syllabus what you have learned okay this was 2021 question let's see next question the equation of the plane which contains the y-axis now understand this thing if something is containing y-axis or x-axis it will contain origin also that plane will contain origin also because on y axis only origin falls right and passes through the point 1 comma 2 comma 3 and passes through the point 1 comma 2 comma 3 that plane is passing through 1 comma 2 comma 3 so the direction ratio of normal 
direction ratio of normal to the plane can be written as means it will be like if this is the plane 0 comma 0 comma 0 is there 1 comma 2 comma 3 is there right so you can find direction ratio of this also y axis is there also y axis is there which is passing through the origin so the direction ratio of y axis is 0 comma 1 comma 0 direction ratio of the y axis is 0 comma 1 comma 0 now if you remember the plane equation was x minus x1 y minus y1 z minus z1 a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 equals to 0 containing two lines or containing means there are two lines now no, sir one line is this whose direction ratios you require and one line is this whose direction ratio you require so what we can do is x minus 0 y minus 0 z minus 0 a1 b1 c1 sir direction ratio will be 1 comma 2 comma 3 another one will be 0 1 0 these are the direction ratios of two different lines and one passing point now just solve this sir x sir 0 minus 3 okay then minus y sir 0 0 0 then z 1 equals to 0 so minus common 3x minus z equals to 0 d option like this sir so try to make one diagram and see what all informations are given and after that trust me question will become simple question will become simple okay understood now moving on this also came in 2021 let the plane this bisect the line joining the point this and this now student thinks sir what is means there is nothing big in this one plane is bisecting them one bisect the line joining the point at right angle so that means plane will act as perpendicular bisector for the line so this line a b only will be the normal direction ratios of the normal and midpoint of a and b will lie on the plane so i got two information that midpoint of a b first of all midpoint by midpoint formula see basics are used everywhere 4 plus 2 by 2 then minus 3 plus 3 by 2 then 1 minus 5 by 2 that will be 6 by 2 3 0 minus 2 okay this is your passing point direction ratio direction ratio of plane so direction ratio will be sir difference of 2 4 minus 2 sir this is 2 uh, minus 3 minus 3 minus 6 and uh, 1 minus of minus 5 plus 6 or you can say 1 comma minus 3 comma 3 simplest form you can divide by 2 so equation of plane equation of plane will be a x minus x1 if you remember the standard forms when direction ratios are also given see what they have they have already given direction ratios of the normal one passing point a x minus x1 b x minus x2 and uh, plus c x minus uh, sorry this was y minus y1 this was sorry so this is b y minus y1 c z minus z1 equals to 0 now what is a i got 1 x minus x1 so x minus 3 then minus 3 y minus 0 and uh, c is 3 z plus 2 equals to 0 so x minus 3 minus 3 y plus 3 z plus 3 2 is a 6 so x minus 3 y plus 3 z plus 3 equals to 0 understood now if you compare with a x plus b y plus c z plus d these are a b c d then the minimum value of minimum because maximum i can multiply 2 3 4 anything right so the minimum value will be 1 square 
plus 3 square plus 3 square plus 3 square. So it will become 28. So the minimum value of this will be 28. That's why I've divided by 2. Okay. So in this way, question was very simple. Question was very simple. Okay. Now, moving on. The equation of the planes parallel to the plane this, which are at unit distance from the point is this. If B minus D is equals to K, C minus A, then the positive value of K is there asking. Now, try to understand. The equation of the planes parallel to the plane the equation of the plane parallel to this plane any plane equation which is parallel only constant term will be different only constant term will be different so x minus 2y plus 2z plus lambda equals to 0 this is the equation of the plane now which are at unit distance from the point this plane is at unit distance sir we know that uh, distance formula so 1 is equals to put 1 2 3 so 1 2 2 is a 4, 2 3 is a 6 plus lambda divided by 1 plus 4 plus 4 like this. So that means this is 3 only. So 3 is equals to mod of uh, 7 minus 4 lambda plus 3. So lambda can be 0 or lambda can be minus 6. Lambda can be 0 or lambda can be minus 6 which are at a unit distance from the plane if b minus d is equals to k times c minus a now put this values put this values here so it is x minus 2y plus 2z is equals to 0 or x minus 2y plus 2z uh, minus 6 is equals to 0 i got two these two equation now b minus d you have to compare with uh, this ax so b and d b minus d b minus d is equals to k times c minus a so for this curve b is minus 2 and d is 0 and uh, c is 2 minus 1 so k is coming negative sir k is coming negative but I need positive value now coming to this part B and D so minus 2 plus 6 is equals to K times 2 minus 1 so K will equals to 4 so this is your answer this is your answer now what was there sir just a parallel equation then distance formula and then a simple calculation just to confuse you that's it nothing else nothing else okay now the distance of the point 119 from the point of intersection of the line and the plane now this kind of question we have not done in our normal class so that's why 2021 they asked but the method is quite same First of all, you need to find the point of intersection of a line and a plane. How, sir? Means we have already done in measured parallel to the plane kind of thing. How you find the intersection point? Same way. So, x minus 3 by 1, y minus 4 by 2, z minus 5 by 2, let it be lambda. So, x will be lambda plus 3, y will be 2 lambda plus 4, z will be 2 lambda plus I got any point now if this point lies on the plane means intersect with the plane so this point will lie on the plane so substitute this value in this so lambda plus 3 2 lambda plus 4 then 2 lambda plus 5 is equals to 17 so 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 1 5 lambda 3 plus 4 7 7 plus 5 12 17 minus 12 is 5 lambda is 1 so the intersection point will become 
वन प्लस थ्री फोर टू प्लस फोर सिक्स टू प्लस फाइव सेवन सो फोर सिक्स सेवन दिस इज योर इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट नाउ यू नीड टू फाइंड डिस्टेंस ऑफ दिस पॉइंट एंड दिस पॉइंट सो डिस्टेंस इज इक्वल्स टू फोर माइनस वन थ्री का स्क्वायर सिक्स माइनस वन फाइव का स्क्वायर सेवन माइनस नाइन टू का स्क्वायर सो इट विल बिकम ट्वेंटी नाइन प्लस नाइन रूट थर्टी एट रूट थर्टी एट फर्स्ट ऑप्शन लाइक दिस सो दे विल मिक्स टू थ्री थिंग्स बट द क्वेश्चन पैटर्न विल बी सिंपल सर केम इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन यू कैन सी दिस ओके अंडरस्टूड आई होप एवरीथिंग इज क्लियर ओके नाउ अगेन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन द वेक्टर इक्वेशन ऑफ द प्लेन पासिंग थ्रू इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ द प्लेन दिस एंड दिस एंड द पॉइंट वेक्टर इक्वेशन ऑफ अ प्लेन पासिंग थ्रू इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ द प्लेन सर If you find the direct means uh, Cartesian form, it will be x plus y plus z is equals to one, and the other one will be x uh, i j k. So minus two y plus two equals to zero here. Minus one equals to zero. These are the two equation. Now, if you remember, all the planes intersecting this plane is given by p one plus lambda p two, right? So x plus y plus z minus 1 plus lambda times x minus 2y plus 2 equals to 0 this this is the plane which is find by intersecting of those two planes now for finding lambda they will give you something they have given that this point is passing so simple question substitute this point 1 0 2 so sir 1 0 2 and here One zero and two is already there, means two uh, z is not there, so it will become sir one one cancel. So lambda is equals to minus two by three. Lambda will equals to minus two by three. Substitute here in this equation. So when I take LCM, it will be three x plus three y plus three z minus three minus two x plus two two is a four y. Two two is a four equals to zero. So x plus seven y plus three z minus seven equals to zero. This is your Cartesian form. Now simply you can relate and see which one is giving, sir. B option. In this, it is three x plus seven plus o. Oh, they have made both same. Means one should be minus or something. So the answer is one of this B option, like this. okay misprint is there so like this simple what was there sir nothing right nothing i hope everyone is clear now moving on again sir 2021 question let l be a line obtained from intersection of two planes this and this i have already told you that the third form of line when two planes intersect so how to find first of all let the direction ratio of the line be abc let the direction ratio of the line be abc so normal to the plane will be normal to the line so that means uh, 2a it's not 2a it is only a plus 2b plus c equals to 0 and this is already 0 so plus b plus 2c equals to 0 So a, if you hide a, two two is a four minus one, then b, uh, it will be zero minus two, then c, one and zero. Okay. So uh, this is a by three, b by minus two, and c by one. So these are the direction ratios. Now, for any point, I've told you take any one axis as zero. Any one axis as zero. Let's take z as zero. If you put z as zero, y will be four. Now put z zero, y four. So two fours are uh, eight. So six minus eight x will become minus two. 
So the equation of line will be x plus 2 by 3, y minus 4 by minus 2, and uh, z by 1. This is the equation of the line which is passing from the intersection of these two points. This we have already done, if you remember. Now the next part of the question is, if this point is the foot of perpendicular, is the foot of perpendicular from 3 to 1 on L. Now you know how to find put uh, foot of perpendicular. Then the value of 21 alpha plus beta plus gamma they are asking. So, sir, foot of perpendicular of 3 comma 2 comma 1 you need to find. Now any point on this let it be mu. So it will be 3 mu minus 2 then minus 2 mu plus 4 then mu. Okay. Then mu. Let it be this point means this thing. So we need to find mu value now direction ratios. So sir it will become uh, direction ratios. So it will become 3 mu minus 2 minus 3. So minus 5 minus 2 mu plus 4 minus 2. So uh, minus 2 will give you plus 2 and then mu minus 1. These are the direction ratios. Now this will be perpendicular to direction ratios of this. So that will give you 3 into 3 mu minus 5 plus minus 2 into minus 2 mu plus 2 minus 2 into minus 2 mu plus 2 then mu minus 1 into 1 mu minus 1 into 1 equals to 0 so 3 3 is a 9 3 5 is a 15 then 2 2 is a 4 mu minus 4 plus mu minus 1 so sir 9 plus 1 10 14 mu this is 19 and 18 equals to 0 right 19 and sorry uh, 20 15 plus 4 19 20 so mu is equals to 20 by 14 uh, 2 tens are 2 sevens are so mu will be 10 by 7 so mu will be 10 by 7 so now the point now the point will be 3 mu minus 2 so 10 by 7 so it will become 30 t by 7 minus 2 comma uh, 10 by 7 right or let it be taking there so that's why 21 into uh, that is given so the point point will become this is 10 by 7 point is 3 mu minus 2 3 mu minus 2 little calculative I've already told you minus 2 mu plus 4 minus 2 mu plus 4 and then mu okay now if you put 10 comma 7 so 30 minus 7 2 is a 14 by 7 uh, minus 20 plus 7 4 is a 28 by 7 then 10 by 7 this are the point so that means 30 minus 14 16 by 7 then 8 by 7 then 10 by 7 these are your points now they are asking 21 alpha plus beta plus gamma so 21 alpha is 16 plus 8 plus 10 by 7 7 ones are 3 za sir 8 is 24 so 24 plus 10 34 into 3 3 4 za 12 3 3 za 9 so 1 0 2 answer will become 102 little lengthy but you have learnt part wise everything how to find equation of line when two curves are intersecting then how to find foot of perpendicular of the line so everything was knowing just you need to apply okay just you need to apply I hope things are clear now let's see the next question 
द फूट ऑफ द परपेंडिकुलर ड्रॉन फ्रॉम द पॉइंट टू द लाइन ज्वाइनिंग द पॉइंट दिस एंड दिस लाइज ऑन द प्लेन सो इफ यू सी द क्वेश्चन वॉट दे आर सेंग टू पॉइंट आर गिवन दैट टू द लाइन ज्वाइनिंग टू पॉइंट सो बाई टू पॉइंट फॉर्म यू कैन फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ द लाइन लाइक एक्स माइनस वन बाय वन माइनस वन जीरो वाई माइनस वन बाय माइनस टू माइनस वन माइनस थ्री एंड देन जेड माइनस जीरो बाय थ्री माइनस जीरो थ्री दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ द लाइन द फूट ऑफ द परपेंडिकुलर ड्रॉन फ्रॉम दिस टू द लाइन सो सर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन हाउ टू सॉल्व फूट ऑफ द परपेंडिकुलर क्वेश्चन टेक एनी पॉइंट एज लैमडा सो इट विल बी वन माइनस थ्री लैमडा प्लस वन एंड देन थ्री लैमडा राइट एनी पॉइंट फूट ऑफ परपेंडिकुलर सो यू विल फाइंड डायरेक्शन रेशियोज सो डायरेक्शन रेशियो ऑफ दिस लाइन विद द पॉइंट इज फोर कॉमा टू कॉमा थ्री सर फोर माइनस वन Uh, will be or uh, you can say one minus four is minus three, minus three plus one minus two, so minus three lambda minus one and three lambda minus three, like this. This is your point. Now direction ratio. Now this direction ratios multiplies. So this into this is zero. Uh, minus three minus three will be nine lambda plus three. Plus nine lambda minus three three is a nine equals to zero. So eighteen lambda minus six equals to zero. Lambda equals to one by three. You will get lambda is equals to one by three. Now substitute here. So the point will become one uh, three three cancel. So minus one plus one zero one. So the point foot of perpendicular will become one comma zero comma One. Okay. Now what they are saying, the foot of the perpendicular lies on the plane. So you need to see that one zero one will satisfy which equation? First equation one zero one. Yes, sir, it is satisfying. One zero one. No, sir. One zero one. No, sir. One zero one. No, sir. First option only. As simple as that. Means you need to remember how equation of line. Only three methods were there. Then equation of plane. Four methods were there. those only will be used and then little bit extra part that's it nothing else all questions are quite same and similar trust me okay i hope everybody is getting this now moving on the plane which bisects the line joining the point this and this at right angles also passes through the point sir same kind of question in 21 came 21 came na that two points are there plane is bisecting them perpendicular so midpoint will lie on the plane end so this you can do by yourself so every year same kind of question because there are not many types of question in plane and plane in 3d geometry so they will repeat so i'm showing you same thing you can just go back in the class and you can see that we have seen uh, solved same problem now moving on If the distance of the point from the plane measured parallel to the line, see this kind of question we did, okay, where you need to first find intersection point. So this is a major kind, sir. This is I will say a five-star question which you should always do. Means they are saying there is a point one comma minus two comma three. Its distance not perpendicular, but with a slight. thing which whose direction ratios are 2 comma 3 comma minus 6 so first of all we find the intersection point of this line and then distance formula so sir line equation will be x minus 1 by 2 y plus 2 by 3 z minus 3 by uh, z minus 3 by minus 6 let it be lambda So two lambda plus one, then three lambda minus two, minus six lambda plus three. These are the point on this line. Now, if this is satisfying this plane or lying on the plane, it should satisfy the equation. So two lambda plus one minus three lambda plus two minus six lambda plus three should equals to five. 
सर सिक्स माइनस थ्री इज नाइन नाइन माइनस टू इज माइनस सेवन लैमडा वन प्लस टू थ्री थ्री प्लस थ्री सिक्स सो सिक्स विल गो देयर फाइव माइनस सिक्स इज माइनस वन फाइव माइनस सिक्स विल बी माइनस वन सो लैमडा विल बी वन बाई सेवन लैमडा विल बी वन बाई सेवन नाउ वॉट सर पुट दिस वन बाई सेवन सो दैट विल बी द पॉइंट सो पॉइंट विल बिकम टू प्लस वन नाइन बाई सेवन सो द पॉइंट विल बिकम नाइन बाई सेवन देन थ्री सेवन टू जॉ फोर्टीन सो माइनस इलेवन बाई सेवन एंड माइनस सिक्स सेवन थ्री जॉ ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी वन माइनस सिक्स ट्वेंटी वन माइनस सिक्स इज फिफ्टीन बाई सेवन लाइक दिस ओके यू गॉट द पॉइंट मे बी कैलकुलेटिव इट कैन बी कैलकुलेटिव नाउ दे आर आस्किंग डिस्टेंस सो द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दैम नाइन बाई सेवन माइनस वन ओके वी डोंट हैव टू डू दिस बिकॉज नाइन बाई सेवन दिस माइनस वन एंड देन माइनस माइनस प्लस टू एंड माइनस थ्री सो ओनली दिस पार्ट विल कम सो दैट इज टू बाई सेवन सो फोर बाय फोर्टी नाइन प्लस नाइन बाय फोर्टी नाइन प्लस थर्टी सिक्स बाय फोर्टी नाइन इट विल बी थर्टी सिक्स प्लस नाइन फोर्टी फाइव फोर्टी फाइव प्लस फोर इज फोर्टी नाइन सो आंसर विल बी वन B option, as simple as that. Very simple question, which we have already discussed. Understood? I hope things are clear. Okay. Now, moving on. If A B C is the image of this point in the line, then A plus B plus C. Sir, already we have seen foot of perpendicular, and then how we find image just by midpoint formula. You can already so direct question, sir. There are nothing much types, image, point, finding equation of line, distance. That's it. Five, six different types, and then the forms. That's all. You can do it by yourself. Next, the shortest distance between the lines, this and this. so sir first of all one line is given shortest distance means then again the intersection form so they have mixed the question so that first of all student should know if the plane form of line is given they should know how to find the equation of line already we have solved in one 2021 question again i'll show you let the line direction ratio be abc now the normal to the plane will be normal to the line also so first of all a plus b plus c is 0 second 2a minus b plus c is 0 first of all you need to find the direction ratios of the line now a by sir 1 minus minus plus so 2 then b sir 2 minus 1 is 1 and c minus 1 Minus two, minus three. These are the direction ratios of the line. Now, to get one passing point, you put any one thing as zero. Let z be zero. If z is zero, x plus y is equals to minus one. And here, if z is zero, two x minus y is equals to minus three. Add them. So three x is equals to minus four. X is equals to minus four by three. Now substitute here. so what it will be y is equals to minus 1 plus 4 by 3 so sir minus 3 plus 1 1 by 3 so the equation of the line equation of the line will be x plus 4 by 3 by 2 y minus 1 by 3 by 1 z minus 0 by minus 3 this is your one equation this is your second equation now you can find shortest distance by converting into vector forms by converting into vector form a2 minus a1 cross b1 cross b2 theek hai means understood i hope everything is clear okay
now a plane meets the coordinate axis at a b and c respectively okay a plane meets the coordinate axis you can say this is x y and z so plane is meeting coordinate axis at a b and c right sir let this point be x comma 0 comma 0 so this is 0 y is 0 and this one will be 0 0 z dash you can say something the centroid of the triangle abc is 1 comma 1 comma 2 okay centroid of the triangle is 1 comma 1 comma 2 this is given so a diagram will give you a picture then the equation of the line through this centroid and perpendicular to the plane through this line and perpendicular to the plane first of all sir centroid is what 0 plus 0 plus x dash by 3 is equals to 1 so that means x dash is equals to 3 x dash is equals to 3 so similarly y dash will equals to 3 and then z dash is equals to 6 so I got the intercepts now I know intercept form so x by 3 plus y by 3 plus z by 6 is equals to 1 so this is the equation of the plane you can say I can multiply by 6 so if you multiply by 6 it will be uh, 2x it will be 2x plus 2y plus z is equals to uh, 6 like this okay so these are the direction ratios of the normal to the plane these are the direction ratios of the normal to the plane so direction ratio should be 2 2 and 1 so 2 2 and 1 is in only c option no other option is only in c option over sir that's it nothing else so you can see how they tricked you but it was a very simple question but it was a very simple question okay understood now let p be a plane passing through point this this and this sir we have already seen if three points are given what is the equation of the plane form you remember with that you can find the equation and r be any point 216 then the image of r in the plane sir determinant if you remember three points are given so x minus x1 let it be x1 x2 x3 by x2 minus x3 so 4, uh, four minus 2 and then 5 minus 2 then y minus 1 1 minus 1 0 minus 1 z minus 0 x1 uh, sorry z minus z3 uh, z1 so z2 minus this and 1 minus this this was the equation of the plane when three points are given now what just I need to solve this sir nothing else so x minus 2 into sir 1 minus 1 is 0 and uh, this is minus 1 into 1 plus 1 so plus 1 minus y minus 1 so 1 into 2 is 2 3 into 1 is minus 3 plus z so minus 1 minus 2 and then 0 equals to 0 this is 2 sir x minus 2 minus y plus 1 oh sorry 2 minus 3 is so uh, 2 minus 3 plus 1 so plus y minus 1 and minus 2z what I will get x plus y minus 2z is equals to 3 is equals to 3 this is the equation of the plane simple it was nothing like they have given very unique thing now they are asking image of R sir direct formula H dash K dash and L dash or you can say H K L so sir H dash minus 2 by coefficient of X then k dash minus 1 coefficient of y z dash minus 6 by coefficient of z is equals to minus 2 put this point in the plane so 
टू प्लस वन माइनस सिक्स टू जा ट्वेल्व माइनस थ्री बाई ए स्क्वायर सो दैट विल बी ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस फोर लाइक दिस टू स्क्वायर फोर सो नाउ सर एच डैश माइनस टू इज इक्वल्स टू हेयर टू प्लस वन थ्री थ्री गॉट कैंसिल दिस इज सिक्स सो सिक्स वन जा टू जा टू टू जा फोर आई विल गेट बिकॉज दिस इज ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फोर बाई सिक्स इज फोर सो फोर के डैश माइनस वन इज फोर जेड माइनस सिक्स इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस एट बिकॉज माइनस टू इंटू फोर सो एच डैश इज इक्वल्स टू सिक्स के डैश इज इक्वल्स टू फाइव जेड डैश इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस टू सिक्स फाइव माइनस टू बी ऑप्शन डेफिनेटली यू विल गेट द आंसर इफ यू हैव अप्लाइड ऑल द फॉर्मूलाज करेक्टली दिस वॉज जस्ट फॉर्मूला एंड देन इमेज फॉर्मूला दे हैव सिमिलर पैटर्न सर मीन्स यू विल नॉट गेट वेरी ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन डायरेक्ट मीन्स फॉर्मूला बेस्ड एंड ऑल दैट्स इट आई होप थिंग्स आर गेटिंग क्लियर टू यू ओके नेक्स्ट द शॉर्टेस्ट डिस्टेंस नाउ सर वॉट इज देयर जस्ट कन्वर्ट इन टू वैक्टर फॉर्म एंड गेट द आंसर डायरेक्ट फॉर्मूला बेस्ड क्वेश्चन आई एम टेलिंग यू नेक्स्ट द मिरर इमेज ऑफ द पॉइंट इन द प्लेन इज दिस विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पॉइंट लाई ऑन दिस प्लेन नाउ स्टूडेंट विल फील दैट इट इज ट्रिकी बट दिस इज नॉट ट्रिकी वन कॉमा थ्री टू कॉमा थ्री मिरर इमेज इज माइनस सेवन बाय थ्री माइनस फोर बाय थ्री माइनस वन बाय थ्री सर देयर मिड पॉइंट विल लाई ऑन द प्लेन इट इज द सेम थिंग लाइक प्लेन बाई सेक्टिंग द टू पॉइंट पर पेंडिकुलरली दैट इट ऑलरेडी सेम क्वेश्चन केम इन ट्वेंटी वन इन ट्वेंटी ऑल्सो इन वन ऑफ द शिफ्ट पेपर आई हैव शोन यू नाउ अगेन सेम पेपर जस्ट वर्डिंग चेंज सेम पेपर सो डायरेक्शन रेशियोज यू कैन फाइंड ऑफ द नॉर्मल एंड पासिंग पॉइंट यू विल गेट द इक्वेशन ऑफ द प्लेन एंड देन यू कैन चेक विच वन इज सेटिस्फाइंग That's it, sir. Nothing else. Okay. So I'm showing you the patterns. Means quite similar patterns. Okay. 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 Okay
point is there we will get the lambda value so i am telling you sir this is 19 question that question was in 21 direct p1 plus lambda p2 so pattern of the questions or the methodology everything will come same you don't have to worry about you will be knowing the things whatever you have done next the vector equation of the plane through the line of intersection of the plane this and this which is perpendicular to the plane this now what they are trying to say first of all vector equation of the plane through the line of intersection of the planes sir line of intersection means p1 plus lambda p2 we need to apply so that will become x plus y plus z minus 1 plus lambda times 2x plus 3y plus 4z minus 5 equals to 0 all the planes through the intersection of these two planes but i need that plane which is perpendicular to the given plane so perpendicular means the direction normal will also be perpendicular the normal to both the planes will also be perpendicular so first of all find the direction ratios of the normal like here if you take x common 1 plus 2 lambda y common 1 plus 3 lambda then z common 1 plus 4 lambda minus 1 minus 5 lambda equals to 0 these are the direction ratios now this and this so 1 into 1 plus 2 lambda minus 1 into 1 plus 3 lambda and then 1 into 1 plus 4 lambda is equals to 0 so 1 plus 2 lambda minus 1 minus 3 lambda plus 1 plus 4 lambda equals to 0 so 4 plus 2 6 6 minus 3 3 lambda 1 1 got cancel equals to minus 1 so lambda equals to minus 1 by 3 lambda is equals to minus 1 by 3 now I need to substitute this minus 1 by 3 in this to get the equation of the plane okay if you substitute so 3x plus 3y plus 3z minus 3 minus 2x minus 3y minus 4z plus 5 because minus will be multiplied na sir so 3y 3y cancel i got x i got uh, minus z and i got plus 2 equals to 0 x minus z so sir i minus k minus 2 so plus 2 i need so that means d option uh, that will be r dot here not cross is not there dot is there so r dot this d option like this sir. so it's always convenient to solve in cartesian form and then compare it with your vector form that's why we have studied both the parts how to convert into vector form or cartesian form understood i hope things are clear now moving on if the line meets the plane at a point p then the distance of the p from the origin again sir intersection in 19 in 20 also in 21 also same kind sir nothing different no difference at all you can solve this okay okay let's move to the next question if the plane has the distance this and this units from the planes sir plane is having some distance units has the distances 1 by 2 and 2 by 3 units from the planes this and this respectively now you can see that sir 2x minus y 2z same thing here if you divide by 2 so they are parallel planes they are parallel planes in this if you divide by 2 this is 2x minus y plus 2z plus lambda by 2 this is 2x minus y plus 2z plus mu distance between these two is half distance between these two is 2 by 3 now distance between parallel planes is the same thing like distance between the parallel lines that 1 by 2 is equals to difference between their 
constants divided by 2 square 2 square so 4 plus 4 plus 1 so that is 3 so 3 by 2 equals to lambda by 2 minus 3 second part 2 by 3 is equals to mu minus 3 by 3 sir 3 3 cancel mod of mu minus 3 is 2 okay I got this thing then the maximum value of lambda and mu they are asking okay now if you open the mod lambda by 2 minus 3 is plus or minus 3 by 2 and here mu minus 3 is plus or minus 2 so we will get two different values of lambda and mu so this question is little different but directly you can means since uh, you have solved uh, modulus things if you go there 3 so 3 by 2 plus 3 minus 3 by 2 plus 3 okay so lambda by 2 2 3 is a 6 6 plus 3 9 by 2 6 so 3 by 2 so lambda is equals to 9 or 3 will come okay coming back to this so mu is equals to 2 plus 3 or minus 2 plus 3 so mu is equals to 5 and 1 so when they ask maximum lambda plus mu maximum so the lambda maximum value is 9 mu maximum value is 5 so 9 plus 5 14 you will get 9 plus 5 14 which is not in the option so when I take both plus so I am getting uh, 9 so 9 plus 5 14 so one of the option should be 14 only sir uh, 3 plus uh, because 9 plus 1 is 10 3 plus 5 is 8 so here misprint is there so 14 should come so the misprint is there it's 14 so the answer will be 14 like that okay because we got two different values means so the maximum will be 9 plus 5 15 when we take plus sign both sides okay understood now moving on if the line intersects the plane at a point P and this plane again sir intersection of line and plane very simple sir again take any general point satisfy means the kind of question and patterns are very similar you can see and you can realize that two lines this and this intersect at the point R the reflection of R in the XY plane sir we have never solved a question when two lines intersect right let's solve it now let the first line be means lambda constant mu so any point on this line will be uh, lambda plus 3 3 lambda minus 1 minus lambda plus 6 this is the point right any point on this line will be 7 mu minus 5 minus 6 mu plus 2 then 4 mu plus 3 right sir 4 mu plus 3 now if they intersect so these two points will be coinciding that means this should equals to this lambda plus 3 equals to 7 mu minus 5 so I can say lambda minus 7 mu is equals to minus 8 okay similarly this these two will be same minus lambda plus 6 is equals to 4 mu plus 3 or lambda plus 4 mu equals to 3 now solve these two equation solve these two equation so if you put up lambda minus 7 mu is equals to minus 8 minus 11 mu 11 so mu will be 1 if I put mu equals to 1 uh, so lambda will become uh, minus 1 no lambda will become yeah minus 1 okay so that means point will become if you see the point if you put uh, means minus 1 so 2 minus 3 minus 4 and uh, lambda plus uh, 1 plus 6 7 sir 2 comma minus 4 comma 7 this will be your point so this is your r point you can substitute mu value also 7 minus 5 is 2 minus 6 plus 2 is minus 4 4 plus 3 7 you got the intersection point so in this way 
get the general point if they are intersecting so they will be equal okay two equations two variable now i need uh, reflection of r in the xy plane sir xy plane x y reflection just compare it with 2d if the point is x comma y its reflection in x is what sir x coordinate remain same y coordinate become minus right similarly its reflection in y axis so now y will remain same x will remain negative so in the same way reflection in x y means x and y will remain same and the seven will become minus seven so this will be reflection two comma minus four comma minus seven first option so whenever you are little bit confused in 3d take the help of 2d reflection sir what do we mean by reflection this thing sir okay understood so this is a good question okay moving on to another question if the point this lies on the plane which passes through the point this and this and is perpendicular to the plane okay try to see this question in this way there is one point 2 alpha beta another point 3 4 2 and another point 7 0 Six. So I can get these two lines like this, right? Let it be A, B, and C. So direction ratios of AB. Direction ratios of AB. Sir, two minus three minus one alpha minus four beta minus two. Right, sir. Beta minus two. Next. Direction ratio of AC. Direction ratios of AC. So, sir, two minus seven is minus five alpha, and then beta minus six. Now, sir, normal to the plane. Normal to the plane will be normal to these two also, and here also BC. Direction ratio of BC, sir. Seven minus three four minus four six minus two four. So let the direction ratio of ABC be means let the direction ratio of the normal be A B and C. Let the direction ratios of the normal be A B and C. So A B and C. So it's perpendicular with this line means that it will be perpendicular to this also. It will be perpendicular to this also. This also, and also they are saying perpendicular to this plane also. So that means 4a minus 4b plus 4c equals to zero and perpendicular to this plane. So 2a minus 5b is equals to zero. Right, sir. So I can get ABC now. So a, sir, hide this minus four zero minus twenty will come minus minus plus twenty. Then b, hide this, sir, four two is a eight, and then this will be zero. Then c, sir, four minus five is twenty, and minus minus plus eight, so it will be twelve, right? So it will be a by four, so div means divide by four, so five b by Two and uh, c by minus three. Minus twelve will come, right? Minus twelve uh, will come by minus three. So five, two, and three. So I got this. Now this product should be zero, sir, right? So that means minus one into five. Then plus. Two alpha minus two four is a eight minus three beta plus three two is a six should equals to zero. So two alpha minus three beta. Oh, directly you are getting is eight and minus five is thirteen. Thirteen. So it will become seven. Mm, you don't have to go for the next thing. Also directly we got. 
टू एल्फा माइनस थ्री बीटा इक्वल्स टू सेवन लाइक दिस सो यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस पार्ट यू नीड टू रियली अंडरस्टैंड दिस पार्ट दैट हाउ इफ पॉइंट इज गिवन हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व थिंग्स हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व दीज थिंग्स ओके अंडरस्टूड नाउ the perpendicular distance from the origin to the plane containing two lines sir we have already seen coplanar lines things take any one point and direction ratios we have already solved one kind of question so sir whatever new patterns were there we solved but it was wasn't like that they are using some different concept whatever concept you have studied only those concepts will be used you don't have to worry about it okay so that was it sir we have solved 21 20 and 19 questions at a very extent level you have seen that maximum questions are of same types 99% questions are of same types what we have done in class it's not like there will be something different so major categories are distance between lines foot of perpendicular image and then intersection of line and plane those kind of things questions will come ultimately from those parts only okay so i hope you understand this chapter now and now after this we'll move to a next chapter in the next session so keep solving be preparing pw's entire team with you thank you